This short video, produced by the Eurochem Education and Training Working Group, discusses the importance of having a common language in analytical measurement and introduces Eurochem guidance on the topic. Although we live in a global village, we use many different languages to communicate. The slide shows the word quality translated into the languages of some of the Eurochem member countries. Even when we speak the same language, the same word can have different meanings depending on the context. In English, the word standard could refer to a normative document such as an ISO standard, a solution of known concentration used to calibrate an instrument, or even a type of flag. When talking about measurements, lack of a full understanding of important terms and inappropriate translations leaves room for different interpretations of analytical requirements and possible confusion. Basic principles of measurement are the same across different disciplines. However, measurement activities increasingly involve interdisciplinary teams. Having clear definitions should improve communication. Working with a set of common concepts and definitions should reduce disputes and misunderstandings, allow consistent interpretation across different organisations and facilitate translations. Individuals and organisations involved with making measurements therefore need a common, internationally agreed vocabulary to provide consistent definitions of concepts and their associated terms. To this end, the International Vocabulary of Metrology, known as the VIM, was developed and is now in its third edition. VIM 3, as it is commonly known, was published by the Joint Committee for Guides in Metrology, Working Group 2, which has representatives from a number of international organisations. BIM 3 is available as ISO Guide 99 or as JCGM 200. The latter is available from the BIPM website. The 2012 version of JCGM 200 includes some minor corrections. The VIM is currently being revised with VIM 4 under development. To help meet the aim of a common vocabulary for measurement, the Education and Training Working Group developed a guide to terminology in analytical measurement. The second edition of this popular guide was published in May 2023. Why do we need a guide to the VIM for analytical scientists? First, the VIM is a normative reference in a number of international standards that underpin accreditation, including ISO IEC 17025, and ISO 15189. Second, those involved in education and training have realised that there is often confusion about both concepts and terminology. Third, in VIM 3, there are some substantial changes to terminology in an attempt to accommodate chemical and biological measurements. Fourth, to make VIM 3 more accessible to analysts working in these sectors, there is a need to provide context and additional examples which relate the concepts to chemical and biological measurements. The Eurochem guide therefore aims to help analytical scientists and those involved in education and training to understand the key concepts covered in the VIM. The guide is applicable to a range of sectors, including those involved with chemical, bio and clinical measurements. The guide identifies the concepts most relevant to analytical laboratories and focuses on terms where there are known to be difficulties with interpretation or the potential for confusion. The guide also links terms in the VIM to terminology used in other standards and guides so that the reader can recognise terminology currently used in the workplace. The working group has also produced an information leaflet introducing the guide. Both the guide and the leaflet can be downloaded free of charge from the publications section of the Eurochem website. To find out more about Eurochem activities, follow us on social media and subscribe to our mailing list. Thank you.